Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, boys. First order of business. Accept the minutes. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, you look pretty good. All right. Uh, next is correspondence. There is uh, one day, Hampton, Hampshire County winter meeting. It's here if you want to go. The picture came in yesterday. I think it was yesterday or Monday. Is that the annual meeting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's at the Blaney House. It's from 11 to 3 yeah. on Thursday the 7th. That's the one you, we went to once and we found yeah. it great. Yeah, but I'm not around. Not me. Not no. me. Not a... You're going yourself? Lonely? No. No. Chauffeur driven? Nothing on one C. Update. Uh, motor vehicle and boat. It's just a boat. Our motor this vehicle rapid that Richard's signing now. There's 16 abatements for $1,289.05. We just need a motion to approve one. I'll make a motion. Mr. Grader, second. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. 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 is select board committee and board code of conduct manual. I would suggest that we hold on that still. Did they have another discussion on that or not? No, they no. still haven't had anything. Okay, on that. so we're waiting for them to move forward on that one a bit. Second. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, departmental priorities for budget. There's a copy of the budget in there for this year. A lot of the numbers are going up for next year, the expense portion. Just give some thought. They're going to be asking for that in probably about a month. What we want. The software maintenance is going to go up probably about two Gs. Division. There's enough where we can afford the cloud hosting. But the other one's going up. The regular software maintenance. <laughs> and then there'll be a few other things that we're probably going to have to tweak up slightly. <laughs> Number five, which is fiscal 24 values. We have decided on everything except for the mall. What you wanted to do with that for 24? A motion on that, or we want to make a discussion? Uh, well, do you guys have anything? Well, I think the indication from you, Mr. Assessor, was that there was not a recommendation that was made by staff. Yeah, I didn't, we hadn't, I hadn't recommended anything. They went through what you gave them last time and took that home to, to look through. So, all of the prior communications from uh, everything literally last year, the last, yeah, they very, had very consistent last January. I think the most things that were, well, we didn't speak at the last meeting, what was 
requested, which we provided, was some of the, the comps, uh, which all show valuation for facilities comparable, although larger, uh, in, in the 9 to $10 million range. Um, so I think we laid everything out, uh, supplied some uh, additional information, and uh, obviously uh, important to uh, the tenants, uh, our ability to attract you know other new tenants, and um, the, the request is very consistent uh, with what we had um, requested an abatement for last year. Um, and the conditions have continued to, to get more challenged, so we're asking for your uh, help, and that's the reason why we're you know here today, given my interaction over the past couple of days with the assessor. So your interaction over with the assessor, so what the discussion just was? Oh, the well, discussion just that you were going to discuss right now. Right now. Yeah, well, but you hadn't had come to any decision. Right. We, after the meeting, uh, a couple, uh, what was it, the 12th? Right. Did, are, are you looking for us to set a value? We need to set a value on it today. today. Yeah. Okay. All right. And there was, there was nothing in the discussion that was anything different than we had gone over all right okay all right so bill you had we had gone over this ad nauseum at our last <laughs> meeting do you want to make a motion for that uh, dollar figure that we discussed um i'll make a motion okay mm -hmm. go ahead do we write that one down My figure was 19.2, I thought. Right. I, yeah. I don't want to step down to make the motion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I figured that we would evaluate 19,200,000. Mr. Gray, do you want to second that? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I could ask, was there material in the agenda packet that I could, public material that I could have access to? Uh, yep, the only thing that they have, just in pretty much even amounts down to the two bottom figures with the numbers that you had initially, the 12.5 was the initial abatement number, and the 5.2 was the, the most recent. Well, recent third party valuation. And so the number that I just heard uh, referenced uh, was uh, higher than where it was in, in 2022. But just not. Uh, no, in 2022, yeah, 174 was 2022. So with all of the, and I say this very respectfully, with all of the market data, with all of the comps that we were requested of, uh, there was a 19.2 that was put on the table. Is that accurate? Just curious yeah, that, in terms of the, the methodology, I'm happy to have a confidential discussion in executive session uh, to further understand that. Uh, I haven't seen this piece of paper before. It seems like there there was some information that was shared with the the board. So just trying to get my arms around it. Yeah, this is the what we just handed what I just handed out to them. Okay.
ました。So interest rates have gone up, cap rates have gone up, the information in terms of comparable facilities that were requested all demonstrated values between, you know, nine and ten million dollars for comparable single and enclosed shopping centers, both in the state of Massachusetts and the state of New York. Um, just trying to uh, understand the methodology uh, and the valuation. Um, when all of the facts very clearly point to a, a high single digit, you know, number. Um, well, first of all, you, you knew what these figures were, even if they weren't. You, you knew the past years. Well, the, 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 the past years, yes, yeah. I appreciate that. We, we keep very close right. so you, track of that. It wasn't so that wasn't a surprise that <laughs> we, Dan put that together for us and we, we went over that and we looked at other, you know, we looked at all your materials, we looked at things in town, what things in town are, and this, that's what we, we came up with. We, we hashed it over, we went over it. Um, I mean, if, if you folks feel it's unfair, which I'm sure you do because we're so far apart, you know, We'll take it to the next step, or you folks can take it to the next step. But as of now, that's where we are. This, you know, we've had our discussion with that. But I guess it's up to you when you get the bill how you want to <coughs> proceed. But we feel comfortable with it at this point. What I'm trying to understand is what methodology was followed, given everything that we provided speaks to a number that's comparable to the others that, that we presented. Well, some of the parcels, like New York, has not a full market assessment. Same as Connecticut. We were looking at enclosed malls. And New York, one of the, the malls in Connecticut, in New York, was at 51% of fair market value. Was their ratio. So the, the fair market value, value was, was only, was double what the assessment was for some of those. Because the, the state law, county the, law the, has the, it. The equalization rate. The so equalization rate. The kinks in collection, you know, at, at nine million. Just trying to understand the, the methodology. So, uh, as we take the next step, Mr. Chairman, it, it comes before this body, and for some reason, uh, the material that we have shared uh, has not uh, made its way, you know, all the way through, been understood, presented properly. Um, so, just trying to, to get to the bottom of it so that we're uh, aligned, and that's our goal in each of the communities in, in which we work with, and we've obviously you know, been here for, for decades. Um, and so the, the, the number is significantly uh, higher uh, than, you know, Kingston Collection, which was larger, which had a sale price of $9 million, which is on the books for just about $10 million. So um, have offered uh, as much information as possible. Um, and it seems as though the discussion, you know, took place prior, you know, to today, um, which is not what I interpreted from the, uh, the the phone call, which is, you know, why we wanted to be here to say how important it was to us, uh, and more importantly to our tenants. So, well, there's nothing really I can add from what I said. I mean, that's where we're comfortable at, and. I mean, if, if your presentation going forward is better than our ideas, well, then there'll be, you know, there'll be a reduction, but we're set. Okay, just one last question. Like the, you concluded that 19.2 million was the value based upon what? What was the driving factor as to why there's a, a gap between what we're viewing when we were together? A lot, you know, a lot, this, this community is, is, every community is unique, and this community is unique as far as values on this corridor are still strong. Sales indicate they're strong. Housing market in this town is strong. <coughs> it, you know, things are listed and, you know, they go. They go higher than list. You know, we have assessments of other commercial properties and then they're sold 
and they're much higher than, than we have. S you know, that's really the driving force. We're not, every one of the communities you gave are different and, and we're, we're strong, we're solid here. You know, it would be a different story if we didn't have this corridor and the colleges around. But I, I personally, I just, I couldn't feel, I couldn't even, your, your value based on what we have here, I'm sorry, but, you know, it, it just didn't compute for me. But at, at respect what you just communicated very clearly, agree in terms of everywhere residential values going up uh, significantly. But our commercials as well. Different classification for enclosed shopping center, and that's everything that we presented on, both within the state as well as the other information that you provided, and it's significantly lower than, lower than the number that I heard today. Wish it was higher, uh, and we obviously have stuck with it, but um, very clear that um, there's a big uh, gap and, and very disappointed. So. Frankly, I was a little disappointed you came in with that value for both disappointed. Well, the values, just for, uh, for clarity, Mr. Chairman, that we presented was a third party not well, engaged by us, beneficial value, <coughs> number one. N number two, we presented what the other values were, not by us, but by other host communities in, in New York and Massachusetts and what one of the properties just transacted at. Uh, and then we provided other market data uh, that spoke to the overall um, nature of the enclosed shopping center environment and where values are today. So everything that we pr presented was based upon third party uh, and not simply just I all of the information that we I presented. understand that and, and our decisions are always made you know the whole it's just everything together and everything together just didn't even with your strong presentation didn't overcome what we see here um, and I feel bad because I like to make people happy I do I just wish we could have done better for you, but in good conscience, we couldn't. That's where we are. Okay. Anything further? No. Thank you. Okay, so we've got the, the next couple pages of the sales report. Sales from 21 and 22, multifamily from 21 and 22, condos from 21 and 22, uh, vacant land from 21 and 22, and single family from 22 only. We had enough sales of single family. There's a few that we had to kick out. <coughs> I disqualified exotic auto over sale at the 12 Russell. Being that the buyer was highly motivated to stay under time, so they overpaid. Um, there's a few other ones out there in there. But the ratios are on the next page of the LA 15. We're at 92% on single family, and everything else is between. 91 and 96. Okay. So we're good. good across the board with good. those. And all the CODs work. <coughs> uh, total values, the page that's in here does not have the adjustment that you just made. The sheet that's separate from here. But it 
about these three designs. But the values are going up. Residential going up five. And the uh, for commercial, the major increases of the strip centers went up about 45 to 50 percent based on the sales. And then new growth is the last sheet. We're looking at 140, just under 141 in growth. Same as, same as. Uh, most of that is residential, a little tiny bit of commercial, and personal property is 32,000. And then the listing sheet that we have to attach to that. And then it's just a summary sheet of what we've had the last three year average. We're slightly higher on residential. Commercial's down a lot, and personal's right about where it's been. So we just need a motion for these three, four sheets to sign. Mr. Grader, your motion? Second. Mr. Bannock, second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. over you'll have to go on and sign the 3s the 15 and the 4 on the gateway and then the last <coughs> thing we have is uh, classification hearing which is the next page I don't have the full report on this one the second last page I don't have the full report on but I typed up the, the recommendation which is to keep a single tax rate, to have no residential, uh, no shift from open space, no residential exemption, and no small commercial exemption, which is what we've done most years. Did you say when is that? The hearing right now is scheduled for the 15th if we get the OR approval. Yeah. If not, it'll be on the 6th. <clears throat> Which is still plenty of time. Right. Okay, you want a motion for? Uh, to vote the recommendations. Mr. Bannock, make that motion. Make to the motion. Mr. Grader, second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Executive session. Mr. Bannock? Yep. Mr. Grader? Aye. Mr. Miss? Yes. Okay, we're going to executive session and we will not reconvene. Actually, we need a motion in a second to do that. Mr. Bannock? I'll make a motion. Second, Mr. Grader? Yep. All those in favor? Aye. 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 